Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please come in and give me an accurate, precise love reading for the sign of Libra for October 2019. Thank you, Spirit. And I do apologize, Libras, if you hear any noise in the background. My kids are out of school today, so I'm trying to do these quick readings before um, I won't have any time. I did everyone else. I didn't want to leave you guys out for this month. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit God. Thank you, angels. Okay, I'm going to take these that came out. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups. So someone here is probably feeling real nostalgic about a person or a situation here with the Six of Cups. Someone could be dealing with children here. Someone could be getting ready to do a reconciliation or just have a happy, fresh, new love here. But I'm going to look at the rest of the cards here just to see how this plays out, okay? All right, so... You have the Seven of Swords, which is deception. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean someone is cheating. It just could mean someone is wearing a false self mask, pretending to, pretending to feel a certain way and they're not, or pretending to be a certain type of individual and they're not. But let's just pull the rest of the cards here. You have the Six of Pentacles. Someone is wanting balance here, give and take. You have the six of wands. So someone wants to move forward passionately here. Possibly a celebration going on. But you did have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So that could mean celebration as well. You have the wheel of fortune. Sorry about that, Libra. My uh, phone cut out. I had to clear some of my storage. You have the king of swords here. You have the Ace of Swords. So someone here has gained mental clarity and also wants to communicate here with the Swords energy. You have the Page of Swords. So you guys probably will be receiving some type of message. Email, instant message, text message, a letter through mail because I'm getting a Page of Wands. And a Page of Wands is communication coming from the form of a letter or a message. You have the Two of Wands. So, someone, it's hard for someone to make a decision here, Libra. I'm picking on reconciliation here. You have the hangman. You have the queen of cups. The king of cups. So, this is a soulmate union here because you have the queen of cups and the king of cups right together. Either soulmate or twin flame union here. The page of coins. Five of Swords. You have a lot of cards come out here. The Judgment card. And the Knight of Wands, which is, could be some in and, out, in and out player type of energy. But let me just go ahead and suck up the energy here and go ahead and get deep into this reading for you guys. Try to fix the camera so you can see the cards as much as possible. All right, let's get to it here. Let me just take a look at it. I'm picking a reconciliation here, especially with the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. That's the main thing. That's the overall energy. But I'm picking it up with the seven of um, swords here and the six of pentacles. I'm picking up here that someone is wearing a false self mask. Someone has been wearing that false self mask in this relationship for a while. And I feel like the relationship had came to an end here because I got the judgment card and then you had the ace of swords and the king of swords like someone had a deep awakening here gained clarity on what they want to do but I feel like this person who had this type of in and out energy here with the knight of wands they had a in and out energy here and with the five of swords I feel like there was like fighting going on or this person feel like they always had, had to have their guard up with this person. 
because it's like someone here has been walking on eggshells here. Because let me just show you guys something here. On the Five of Swords uh, card here, you see how the lion is at the back and watching this guy here fight and defend himself, you know, towards the tiger or cheetah. I'm sorry, towards the cheetah here. But you see that same lion is looking down in disbelief and sadness with this wolf that's wearing this false mask. So I feel like someone has been portraying something that they weren't for a long time. Or maybe this person was living a double life even. But you and this person are soulmates here. Because you have the king of cups, the queen of cups. Or you guys are a twin flame union. But I feel like something here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull some more cards as well. But I feel like something here has ended. And I feel like the universe with the wheel of fortune has pushed this relationship to end. And I feel like it did that. The relationship had to end in order for you guys to get this reconciliation and this new union here. Because the universe had to push that other situation out the way. In order for you guys to get to this King of Cups and this Queen of Cups energy. And you guys is at a standstill right now. I don't feel like there's any communication because you have the hangman here. And then you have the two of wands. It's like a person not really for sure if they want to go forward without you or stay. But I feel like they made the decision. They gave into clarity here on what they want to do with the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. They wanted to move forward here with you with the Six of Wands and bring in balance with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person doesn't know how to talk to you directly. I feel like they don't know the words to say to you to your face. They would be rather write you a letter here with the Page of Wands. They would rather write you a letter, text message, instant message, or email. They'd rather not see you face to face. They want to see how you respond to a letter, a text message, or an email. But they do want to offer you their pentacle. The page of pentacles. The page could start off like, hey, let's go out to eat. Let's go on a date. Something of that sort. Because they're not for sure how you would take it. If it's you that's receiving that offer or the cross watchers, just take it how it resonates. They're not for sure how you will accept that offer. They they, you know, really don't know how you will accept it. But give me more spirit. Why is this? Why did it end? Like, why, why is the reconciliation? Where, where did it all start from? <clears throat> all right so you have the lovers that came out which is a soulmate union it can also mean lovers like more than two people but i'm not picking it up i'm picking this up as more as the reconciliation lover soulmate union and then you have the world card which is like i said your relationship has went through a transformation um phase due to the universe doing it i feel like you guys was going to stay in that same situation you guys neither one of you guys were going to do anything about it but the universe had to step in to take control. And at the bottom of the deck here, you have nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. You are this person's wish fulfillment here. Okay, you have the queen of swords here, which is communication. In your mind, doing a lot of thinking, clarity. And also the king of the queen of swords is the type of person that doesn't take any bullcrap. She really just tells the truth. As well as the king of swords. So some truth is coming into you from this person about how they really feel about you and what really was going on with them while they was wearing that false self mask. Like the truth is gonna get ready to come out here, Libra. I feel. Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, that's like a standstill, stuck energy. You see how he's not moving, he's just there. That's like stuck, like not doing any move. I feel like there's no movement right now in your relationship. You have the hangman and you have the three of uh wands. So someone's not doing any moving. The person that's bringing you this letter, they're not moving. Yeah, right and now. so I'm sorry I got interrupted. You have the tower moment. So something happened all of a sudden. Like something caused this sudden end. And like I said, I feel like the universe <clears throat> took control over this situation. Like neither one of you guys were going to leave the relationship. And both of you guys knew that it was heading for self-destruction. But both of you guys were in it due to your own selfish ways, you know. But the universe had something came in all of a sudden, rushed into the relationship for where you guys didn't have a choice but to end it and go your separate ways. But I feel like 
you have a new abundant beginning here with the Empress. And someone could be pregnant as well because the Empress represents fertility and pregnancy, but it doesn't have to be. But I'm just saying uh, the growth, new birth, rebirth of a new, stable, truthful, committed relationship here with the Empress. And then you have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is a person that rushes in, doesn't do any thinking, just coming in head first, you know, to do whatever they have to do to get this individual back. And I feel like this is where the other person is at now. The person that was wearing the false self mask, I feel like that's the energy that they're in right now. They're doing whatever they have to to get you back. And I'm going to get ready to pull some love messages just to see any extra information that they have to give me. Give me just a moment. Let me see here. Thank you, Spirit. Please give me any messages that you have for the sign of Libra, for love, for October. 2019. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so let's see the cards that came out here. All right, you have children. Your love life has been affected by children. And remember when I did the shuffling and laid the cards out in the beginning, I said with the Six of Cups, there is reconciliation, possibly children. And then I said that someone could possibly be pregnant with the Empress. I mean, with children, it could be that someone is pregnant, they don't want to have the baby, or the father doesn't want to have any kids at the moment. It could be something like that. Or it could be a baby mother or baby father interfering with you guys relationship maybe this person that was wearing a soft self false mask like i said at the beginning was living a double life had another family and this could be the reason they had kids a wife you know or something to that nature that's what i'm picking up when i see the children card getting to know each other as you reveal your intimate selves to each other your bond deepens and i feel like this is going to happen once you guys come back together and reconcile here I feel like the person that you were with that was wearing a self-false mask, I feel like they was in a relationship with their baby mother, baby father. I don't feel like they were married. I feel like they was there just for the children. And they met you, started talking to you, fell in love with you. And they got caught up and they didn't know how to break it off or leave their children. I don't feel like it was for the baby mother or the baby father, the reason why they didn't want to leave. I feel like it was for the children. That's what I'm picking up. That's what the spirit is telling me here. And I'm feeling like y'all had a bond, but I feel like the bond wasn't built on solid foundation. I feel like it was all a lie. Not a lie that they didn't love you, but a lie that you really just didn't know truly who they were. But this time around, you're really going to know everything about them and who they truly are. <clears throat> it said it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of them all. So it's telling you this time around, it's safe for you to love this person and to give you know, you can give your all to them, even though you probably already did. But this is what it's saying to you. And I mean, it's up to you if you want to reconcile with this person. I know it would be hard, especially if someone was hiding something to, of that magnitude from you. And then it has finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And maybe this person had financial issues along with that as well. Or you were probably having financial issues. But, yeah, I just, I'm I'm seeing reconciliation here, but I feel like the reason why the universe ended your situation was due to a double life. You know, that's when I'm picking up, but I picked up that the person wasn't trying to do it intentionally. I just feel like basically the relationship with the baby mother or the baby father was already dead. They were just basically there for the sake of their children. They got caught up with you and things just happened. But I feel like the universe interrupted and interfered due to your well-being, for your safety, to let you know, hey, this person is wearing this false self-mask here. They're not who they say they are. Yeah, they might love you and have feelings for you, but they have this whole other life going on, and you need to know about that. 
And I feel like when the universe came in and intervened, you found some things out. And that's how you guys had that abrupt tower moment. Or maybe someone told you something out of nowhere. Someone came to you like, hey, you know, the guy you with, you know, is in a relationship, lives at this such, such address with this person. And that's what I'm picking up here for you, Libras. But if this resonates with you guys, don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, be blessed.